Wow. <laughs> Ooh, nice effects. Ooh, that was a crop circle. Yeah. <laughs> I shot this video on my fifth summer in England investigating the crop circles. It has been edited for a video presentation that I gave at Suzanne Taylor's house on Valentine's Day. That's how come the title. Now, I was very lucky that summer to be staying at Alton Barnes in this house, which overlooks the famous East Field. By the way, this is a carving that I did of the white horse a few years earlier. And that's Wiki, the cat that lived with us. Now, it's actually at Alton Priors, but everybody considers that to be part of Alton Barnes. And as we pan around the field and look up, there's the white horse in the distance. And that's Adam's grave, Neolithic burial site, which we now see out of my window. This is my very first day there, looking out the window at the East Field. And remember this shot, because very soon you'll see a very important event that took place here. That's my window from the outside, as I went on my first walk out through the field that day. I really have been blessed to be able to stay there that summer. So much magic happened. So much. And the East Field, of course, is the most famous field for having so many great crop circles there over the years. Oh, the Alton Barnes farm is actually a dairy farm. And most of the wheat that they grow is cattle feed. Although they also grow barley and some other grains for human consumption. Here is a pan across most of the East Field on a windy day in May. Oh yes, last summer I had a wonderful new camera that'll do time-lapse photography. So here's some experiments I did with it. Oh, here come the cows up on the side of Adam's grave. And now we're up on top of the hill with the cows. And uh, before us, the yellow is canola oil plant, and the right-hand side was the barley. This is yet another view. Oops, uh oh here I come. Got to get on camera somehow. <laughs> now here's the first formation of the year, across from Silbury Hill. Sort of a flower-shaped design. Now we're up on Silbury Hill looking down on the formation. That's Paul Vige in the blue shirt. He's measuring the formation and he's built special electronic instruments that can detect various anomalies. What do you think, Paul? Nothing anomalous yet. Nothing anomalous? No. Well. What do you think of the look of it? Um, I've seen better. It's a bit... Uh, hmm. I don't know, it's, it's quite neat in places. In other places, the outer ring seems a lot better quality than the uh, inner bits, which seem a bit sort of haphazard. Let's see if there's anything around. Feeding there. Still a reading there, which is a unfortunately a negative indication. Mm -hmm. My shadow will walk into the center. This isn't much to behold. 
right? It certainly has trampled all over the place. This Dunlop sign is the landmark for the Thruxton Airfield. And we're going to go on our first flight of the summer to see these new crop circles. There's Silbury Hill below us. And here is the flower crop circle. Now it looks very rough because it's about four or five days old and the young wheat has been springing back up again. In the same field was this very crude spiral formation. Not many people knew about it. I didn't care much for it, actually. But then that's just my opinion. Lovely May day. And over near Basingstoke, in a crop of canola oil, there are these two simple formations. the rings and the crescent moon. And here we come in for a landing. For his reward, my best friend Busty Taylor, the pilot, gets gets a makeup job like Mr. Spock. Remember I said that something important would be discovered outside my window. Well here, at seven o'clock in the morning, I couldn't believe my eyes turned out to be 648 feet long. <laughs> this is absolutely right away I took this shot, first thing when I discovered it out, out there. 648 feet long, a giant DNA molecule. We'll go on the flight in a moment, but first, come with me, first person inside the crop circle that morning. First circle is about 40 feet in diameter. This one here is about 30 feet in diameter, 25 maybe. There is a string of little ones going off this way. Oh, great. Oh, wow. Like a scorpion tail sort of thing going off that way. Now, back on our left again, there's another 30 footer. A lovely little tuft in the middle. And here is another string of 
scorpion tail thought bubbles or something. Good God, this is a fabulous one. Wow. Wow. Just look at this. First person in this one, I dare say. Whereas the thought bubbles are as small as 10 feet. At least the ones that have been close enough for me to judge. And uh, as you come in here, there may be 10 feet or 12 feet. It's the last of the thought bubble chains. Comes up to here. And at the top is a fairly large circle. Okay, so now, looking the other way. Pointing at Woodborough Hill, I'll have you notice. This way it points to Woodborough Hill. And this way, well, not exactly at Adam's grave, but pointing just at the foot of Adam's grave there. Hello, Malcolm. Hello, how you All right. Lovely morning, isn't it? This is circle number six. Here comes Francine and John. Three to four inches of space between the earth and the lightly pressed corn. Yeah. There's a lot of space there, it's fluffy. Right. And this wonderful bloom here, you, quite rightly, you say that if we, even just stroking it, it makes a mark, it gets rid of that, of this bloom here, you see, look. Well, you've pointed that picture, yeah. but looking yeah, at it, look. See? Look, yeah. it takes it off. Immediately. Mm -hmm. And it's not, there isn't a mark on that bloom. And here are some bent nodes. And as you can see, the bent nodes are bending the plant this way. And that is the direction of the swirl. Although bent nodes occur naturally in crop that has been damaged, in this case, the crop had been down for less than 10 hours and was curling sideways with the swirl. This is not natural. Look at this one in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. That's just amazing, bending more than 90 degrees.
Our music is by Steve Marshall, a guy who actually lives at Alton Barnes. Newspapers and television gave the DNA molecule good coverage, and from that time on through the rest of the summer, over 2,000 people visited the formation. Here's Colin Andrews. Alton Barnes near Marlborough, that would be worthy of much, much closer inspection. Uh, they are very interesting. They hold a number of fingerprints which we've identified with the real phenomena. And at the same time, a different television news crew was interviewing Busty. We intend to research this crop circle phenomenon that's been happening now for a great many years. I am convinced that it happened thousands of years ago due to the Celtic symbols that you find in the museum. In 1985, when I found my first crop circle, I didn't understand, but I'd, well, I'd seen this before. Well, had I seen it before? And then after two or three days, I suddenly realized it was a Celtic symbol. Strange as it may seem, the markings are appearing in other countries worldwide, and they too are ancient religious symbols. What is happening, we don't know. If you wish to visit crop circles, you must make sure you obtain the farmer's permission. And outside my window, this is sunrise over the east field, over the DNA molecule, although you can't really see it. And these jets were flying overhead. I decided to point the camera up and leave it on time lapse, and this is what I got. This is a pink cloud. Strange pink cloud, and that's a jet. Quite serendipitous shot. I really was tickled by that. Some say it's a 
Cat is sniffing around, making pretty patterns on the ground. But we know the answer, we'll take it to our grave. Listen here, you lot, it's only dog and day. <laughs> sad bit, no, sad, sad, sad bit, bit, serious, really, sad bit, cheers, you know, okay. Doug and Dave flew up, never to be seen again. I can't see the words. <laughs> so much for all their appearances on the news at ten. <laughs> Some say they were taken to a far-off galaxy. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> but the crop circles keep on appearing for all the sea. True words, true words. Some people say that Doug and Dave are still around. So if you're in a field, keep your ear close to the ground. Waru, waru, waru. Oh, some say it's eggs coming in the corn. Some say it's wind after a nasty storm. Some say it's aliens coming in the night. If I saw one day, I'd have a hell of a fright. Some say it's artists messing around. Making pretty patterns, patterns on the ground. But we know the answer, we'll take it to our grave. grave. Listen to you, you lot, it's only Doug and Dave. <laughs> and we're off on another flight. This time we're with Ron Russell, the Colorado State Coordinator. Yeah, we're going to have a good time, Ron. This one here is near Goodworth Clatford, south of Andover. I call it the Rose. Isn't that a beauty? Back near Basingstoke, this rather strange design. people have been walking through the crop. Please don't walk through the crop when you visit a circle. Please don't do that. Look what it does. You walk along the tram lines. Those are the parallel lines that the tractor takes. And this one was also near Alton Barnes. Very strange design, this one. But it had some beautiful details. These little circles especially were just gorgeous. Let's go down in on the ground and have a look at it from there. Wait till you see these little circles. Now the lady in the blue, she's Eilis, famous investigator, and the others are from the Czech Republic. They investigate UFOs and crop circles. Isn't this beautiful? We were all amazed at these little grape shots. Cože? To nemůže být starý, ne? Buď já nemám, já jsem nechal v autě. What is happening? Oh, he, he, he focuses the camera, but it goes out of focus by itself. So huh. it does what it shouldn't. <laughs> right. <It's very laughs> just over this place. Yes. This is really strange. Yeah. <coughs> And this is a pretty one. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh, this is, this is a beauty. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> uh, right, isn't that nice? Mm. 
Oh, uh, right. Huh. Hele, 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 to je fakt takový zvláštní, tyhle. Mm. Hele, zeptej se, to tady nic dovolám, to tady další dobře. What you got? <laughs> I have a bit of a bundle. Alright. Right. This, my friend, is bundling. Here. You see the way it's wrapped around here? Yeah, the The way this goes around? Yeah. The way this goes around here? You see? The way the leaves are wrapped yes, around indeed. it and separating it? And this yes, is here, Here's another one that's, that's uh, wrapped. This is very nicely wrapped. Look at this. All of this through here. <coughs> indeed, yes. So this is, a, this is a consistent... Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> Just well, her, 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 her zoom is like, you know, doing nasty things again. Oh, her camera is malfunctioning yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, they say they are dizzy. Both. They're both dizzy? Yeah. That's a good sign, too. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively. Peter, where's the big propeller one? Is that, is that this one here? For him. It's not good for him? For, for Paul. It's not uh -huh. good for him because he, like, he has a headache here in the circle. Uh huh. And she says that the circle doesn't do him good. Huh. So it might have like various effects on people. Well, they do sometimes have negative effects and headaches are common, yes. Yeah, but sometimes they do heal of her. Oh, certainly. And this woman is a psychic healer. This band. Okay, what do we have here? Look at this. In the upper right, see the bend by his finger? Oh, that's spectacular. I don't think nature could do it. Yeah, that's, uh, 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 he, that's he'll try really to good. pull it out. To bych se měl vzít sebou jako trofej. Oh, that is a superb we, magic bend. Yeah, we should take it as a trophy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This is the most fantastic holiday I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Very exciting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just starting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
sky. Okay, in the barge, there's Adrian tending the bar. And over here is Simon Peter Fuller. The blonde lady is Carol Quinley from the United States. And let's listen in on a conversation with Reg Presley and his friends. Things are way of life, yes. Yeah. The, the light that the government either has to make a complete change, and we all do, in, in turn, or we've had it. It's got to reverse. Here we are at Martok, near Yeovil. That's quite a bit west of where we usually find the circles, frequently anyway. And this big cross formation here, uh, it's the middle of July, about 300 feet across, and the people were meditating in a cross-shaped position uh, within the circle. Now back near the Alton Barnes area near Avery, we find a classical dumbbell formation. In the early days of straight lines, back in 1989, 1990, this is the type of formation that was typical in those days because the formations have been evolving over the years. They started out as simple circles and then they got rings and then straight lines and on up to the present. Now this is unusual but not unheard of. This is cut crop and we see the ghost of the round wave formation from the previous year. This is near Devizes, that one was. And this sun and moon or spiral and crescent formation is very odd, very strange, but uh, interesting, definitely interesting. We're in the Avebury area, and here is Silbury Hill in the background, and the field in the foreground has millions of poppies growing wild in it. Isn't that beautiful? And here is Avebury itself. No video of mine would be complete without a nice aerial shot of Avebury. Zoom in on the stones. And this year, for the first time, I got an aerial shot of the so-called Stone Avenue near Avebury. This avenue used to connect the sanctuary with Avebury back in the ancient times. Only some of the stones remain, but there you see the avenue that leads to Avebury, which we would walk along during the summer solstice. Very strange discoloration in the field here. And this little ring was, oh, about 10 miles east over near Newbury. Now, I don't know what to make of these markings. We just flew by, and I just, at the last second, got one very quick shot of them. I don't think the crop is actually flattened there. And here's a spooky cloud. Whoa. Check. 
bunch of criminals. A whole bunch of criminals. Yeah. Yeah. Troublemakers. <laughs> Well, it is now the middle of June, and some strange new things have been happening. Take a look at this formation on Roundway. See that triangle? It looks like it's made out of Swiss cheese or something. We had two of them during the summer, and that teardrop shape there, which is probably a signature, there were three of those. Now, let's go and look at this one on the ground. It's very interesting. It's definitely a stripe. With and there's an F shape and sort of another F on the top of it. That's what it looks like, huh? A bit like that. Yeah, it's different directions. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Some have been huh. laid. This is a beauty. Yeah. George is going to confess that he made the double helix? Uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying a word. This is your big chance to interview him. My lips are sealed. <laughs> well, so, but I, next do, week. I do have a copyright on the formation which you're infringing, Mr. Sorms. <laughs> well, I suppose this little tadpole is made by teenagers. And I'm just fascinated by the natural markings in the crop. Isn't that something? Now, here we have the longest formation in history, four-fifths of a mile long. My friend Ulrich Cox from Germany, and our pilot is Steve Patterson. And this is another one of those formations that looks like a triangle made out of Swiss cheese. Very peculiar. What does this mean? And then we flew down real low along the length of it. Watch how long it takes to go the length at 100 miles an hour. Here's the other one again for comparison. <laughs> Could be some kind of Martian alphabet, I suppose. Now this is Adam's grave, the Neolithic long barrow that's out my window. There are excavations there on the left, but the grave itself is still quite noticeable at the top. 
And here's our old friend, the DNA molecule. This is the last day of its existence. The following day, it would be harvested. Here we are in Holland. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's the only windmill I know around the area. Now, this really bizarre thing. I think it's just somebody running around with a garden roller. Look at that close-up detail. No, that doesn't smell good to me. Well, here we are back again. Boom, boom. Oh, all right. Boy, look at that. Wow. And now, the beginning of the end of the summer. Here's the harvesting machine making the first pass around the east field. Emery, whose sad task it is uh, <laughs> to cut down the east field, or it's a noble task. And as we look ahead of us, here's the DNA molecule coming. It's the end of 1996, DNA molecule. There's the harvester. I actually got that shot earlier on the same day. And here it is on the following day, the DNA molecule is cut, there are bales in the field, and the thousands of feet have pounded the chalk all white. Now, look at this. This little circle is in an organic field what looks like tram lines are not tram lines. That's the seed drill lines. You can't walk into that field without crushing the crop. I tried. I was there. I was the first person in there, and that circle was amazing. And now I'm going to put Steve Marshall's music on again for the most important formation of the year, Windmill Hill.
here it is on the ground. I took these shots on the afternoon of the day that it was discovered. Well, here we are near Ashbury. This is several miles north and east of Avebury. This is a beauty. This formation is a Vesica Pisces, very ancient sacred geometry. Elegant, beautiful, what a masterpiece. What a masterpiece. The still shot shows the perfect symmetry of the design. And some more fascinating colors in the field. Okay, now over by Liddington Castle, these two formations appeared on the same night. Two completely different designs. This one is another one of the Julia set types and notice the teardrop shape. Here's a close up. I was not in that one early, but the people who were there on the first day, many say it was the most beautiful lay of the crop that they have ever seen. This is Liddington Castle itself, another one of the ancient hill forts. And then this beautiful geometric design, two completely different entities are surely involved in the communications of these two crop circles that appeared on that night. And then the most controversial event of the summer, when someone claimed to have videoed a crop circle forming at Oliver's Castle.
That's all. And it's raining lightly. But we're at Oliver's Castle now. There it is. I'll let him make the path. You have to get no, you have to follow the light of the tram line. Supposedly that morning a young guy had videotaped lights flying around over this field and on the videotape you can see this crop circle coming into existence. Now frankly I think it's special effects. But if it's real, it would be the holy grail. Adrian's going down? Yeah, I'm gonna dive right in. Go for it. And Ben's going down? Of course we know he's going down. <laughs> Balls off it. Peter. There's a fire going in those woods. They're waving their arms at us. Wave back. Now this shot is taken the very next day from down inside the formation. So let's have a look around. Now I'm standing in the middle of one of the arms and I'm looking at the path. The central part of the path is underlying everything else and that underlying portion goes all the way back into the center of the main circle. The underlying path goes right through the middle, all the way through, and this is laid on top. The circle's first the central path, then the, then the circle. Right. And the And the center. Energetic center. And now we're on the last flight of the summer. Here is Barbary Castle. That's the actual hill fort right there. Beautiful terrain. And, uh, <laughs> well, you be your own judge. This beautiful string of pearls was just about the very last formation of the year. Isn't that a beauty? And the radius of that circle was somewhere in the trees. That is, if you were using a compass to draw the string of pearls, you'd have to have the point of the compass down there in the trees. Here's one that I don't think many people saw. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry, I can't tell you where we were. And this one either, or somewhere on en route. Uh, can't have been too far from Avery. Now, these are old barrows. The farmer's plowing around them. And, uh, well, make of this what you will. It's a curious little formation. And now, this one has already been cut. But you can still see it when the light hits it from the right direction very well. I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> now this, I think this was the last formation of the summer. It was over near Petersfield, which is, oh, like halfway between London and Avebury. Notice how the straight line underlies the big circle. That's the same thing that happened at Oliver's Castle. 
Uh, the underlying path is coming in from the left there. Now this is very strange indeed. Do you think somebody was just playing around with a helicopter? Or was it circle-making energy that came down without the design intact? It's not storm damage, I'll tell you that much. And these are crop markings in a field of linseed oil. Well, that's it. We're coming in for our final landing. And then I'll take you to the barge, and you can watch that famous video of the lights making that formation at Oliver's Castle. Now watch the field. Don't watch the lights. No. The next frame. Watch. watch the field. Yes. You see it? Yes. Oh <laughs> Once it's been computer enhanced, it looks much more impressive. All right. Oh, Polly, I love you. <laughs> wow. Well, what a year. Thanks, Busty. Thanks, John and Julie. Thanks, Steve Patterson. Thanks, Steve Marshall. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Circle Makers. <laughs> How can they possibly top the Julia sets? Well, they will. And as it happens, I'm about to leave tomorrow to go back to England and see the new 1997 season. Up, up, and away, Bruce. <laughs>